G'day, I'm back again. We're running out of time to be in Tasmania. We're going to travel soon, but while we're here, I was reminded today of how different the measuring systems are from America. In America, it's all inches and eighths of inches and sixteenths of inches and thirty seconds of inches. And then there's yards and then there's miles. But I can't keep track of how many... In, I know there's 12 inches in a foot and three feet in a yard and then there's a bunch of yards in a mile and yeah, but it's complicated. So here I want to show you very quickly the Australian one and it's not just Australia it's the rest of the world I think it started in in France but here we go school this is just like school hey so that little mark there which is about the size of my finger a little bit smaller ah, there it is i'm not very good at this filming thing so that mark is 10 millimeters which is the same as one centimeter so one 10 millimeters make one centimeter now why is it called a centimeter be like a centipede it's got a hundred legs uh, there's a hundred centimeters in a meter and there's also a thousand millimeters in a meter don't you love the way that all ends in zeros that makes it so easy and then there's a thousand instead of miles everything here is kilometers or kilometers say it whichever way you want and there's a thousand kilometers uh, meters in a kilometer but I was got to thinking about this because one of the things where it actually is easier in America is temperature well, not the ordinary temperature, because in Australia, where's my helper? Oh, here's my helper. Yeah, here's my helper. Can you tell me how many, what temperature does water freeze at in Australia? Zero. And what temperature does water boil at in Australia? A hundred. Right, so if the temperature outside was ever a hundred, that would be bad, wouldn't it? Because it would mean all the puddles were boiling. So we wouldn't want that to happen. Ah! Now, but what does 100 mean? In America, the number, if your temperature is 100, what's it mean? It means you're sick. Ooh, yes, don't want that. Sick. Well, this girl woke up today and she's sick. But instead of her temperature being 100, like it would be in America, do you remember what it is? 30. 38.6 that's not very easy to remember it's much easier to remember that if your temperature is 100 you're sick here your temperature is 38.6 or 0.7 or 8 or 9 but she's miserable and not just because her teeth fell out so normal temperature in Australia is 37 for a human and then when it gets to 38 or 39, it means you're sick. So that's a funny number. I don't know why they have that number. It'd be easier if it ended in zeros. I like numbers that end in zeros. Unless it's my birthday. In which case, lots of zeros would be not be good. All right, we're done here. Hopefully next time we talk to you, this girl is healthy. Yeah? Okay, bye-bye.